There is no doubt that the vast majority of new guns purchased in the past year have been small, concealed carry size guns, like the Bodyguard or this M&P Shield. Now, while a lot of you are carrying these guns, you likely don't make it a priority to practice with it. Well, the fact is these carry guns perform differently than full-size handguns. So, we've lined up Smith & Wesson pro shooter Julie Golub to show you how to practice with your carry gun and some of the differences you'll find between it and a full-size handgun. Even if you're an avid shooter, you may not get out to shoot your carry gun that often. There are skills that you're going to want to practice in order to be proficient, like shooting at different distances and from different positions. We're going to go over those today. We're starting with a close target because in defensive situations, your threat can be close. Now we're moving back to seven yards. Because carry guns tend to have a shorter sight radius, they can be more challenging to shoot the further back you go. From this distance, you'll notice your sights are going to track off the target a little bit more. I've moved back to the 15 yard line and it's at this distance that things become critical. You need to know whether you're able to shoot accurately at this distance and beyond. These shots were taken from an ideal standing position, but that's not what you might encounter in a defensive situation. So the next step in your training is shoot from kneeling and prone. We're gonna do that next. Shooting from kneeling isn't that much different than shooting from the standing position until you add the element of cover. When you're behind cover, you obviously want to expose yourself as little as possible to your threat. But doing that means that you're gonna be a little off balance and that's going to translate to how the sights look on target and how fast you're able to shoot. Shooting from prone is one of the most stable positions you can shoot from. But with a carry gun, because of the size and the sight radius, if I extend on target and get down on the ground with the gun, I'm only seeing the feet of my target. Instead, to get on the center of the target, I'm going to have to raise the gun up like so. That results in less stable shooting. You'll want to get down on the ground, see how it works for you and your body type. Don't take shooting your carry gun for granted. Shoot it at different distances and from different positions. The results of today are for me and my M&P shield. They'll be different for you and your carry gun. <laughs> 